So now we are back to Everades defense replays. So first of all, I have a couple things to say. Bad things first, as you can see in the screen, 40 stamina left. What happened? Well, um, two hours ago, I uploaded a video, a girl force attempt, except that I missed two pots. And earlier, I have missed also one pot, so in total, three pots. If you miss two pots, it's salvageable. If you miss three pots, it's game over. So when you play, be careful and remember how many pots you have missed earlier. So yes, I will be... I will drop out of a 3,000... I mean, I cannot get the golden chair and I will lose some grails, but there is also another bad news. Uh, also, uh, com compared to last week in dark season, the cav line has not changed. It's the same skill, placement, units, same builds. So the second bad news is that I couldn't get uh, the mythic hell. I spent 700 orbs. I couldn't get hell. I got free Freya and when hell was released on her initial banner, I sniped green as well. I got plenty of Frazier and I couldn't get Hell and now same thing happened Hell is always avoiding me so I don't think I am going to pull again and it's bad because I think Hell might be the best Dark Mythic for Cavline. I got one Triandra, but I expect people will always use Mila and Triandra will never dance. So this match I lost. I think there is nothing interesting to say and nothing to learn because when you play like that, instant vantage, effectiveness, two dancers and no bonus units and not minding gambling the traps I mean you can key any maps so uh, there is nothing to learn about this bad match except maybe if you're scared of these kind of scenarios and of course someone who doesn't care about sacrificing units and scoring bad if you are scared about this kind of scenario one possibility is adding one range cavalry with very high defense so that sniping your units with player phase strategy like this will not work really well for example, one, uh, I don't talk too much about this because it's one weakness of my defense. If you see the stats, all of them have very weak defense stats. Imagine if you add Halloween Rolf and Spendthrift Bow or Molinus and Courtly Mask instead of Lin, you will get one very bulky unit impossible to snipe Halloween Rolf with Spendthrift Bow survive effectiveness so I also suspect Merlinus to do much better because you know about Merlinus very high HP good speed very good defense good resistance he survives anything those are very good options for cav lines. 
speed and depth are very very useful and that is also why I think Hell is very good because she gives plus defense and she is a melee unit with a very strong weapon that allows her to survive anything if you have for example a Scutcheon the first hit from the enemy will trigger a Scutcheon and she will survive the first attack so she will not drop as low as 1 HP so she will always survive the second hit with 1 HP I really like this dedication to Shannon uh, instead of people using cancer units like Fallen Knight and Merita seeing someone very different is refreshing and I, I appreciate that It's not really easy to make Shannon work because of, you know, his bad resistance. So, regarding Hell, because she will not die thanks to Escutcheon, even considering Quick Repost, well, she helps trigger a chain of wings of mercy imagine for example someone plays a unit here and hell teleports here so now for example lilina can just teleport here or teleport here if there is no um, building for example i can remove that one and lilina will will have freedom to move where she wants and snipe someone same thing is what that happens if you bait a summer Mia for example so yes I don't think I I would be able to make a showcase of Kevline with Hell. I will make one with Triandra because I got Triandra. And I will remove Bramimon because Bramimon, well, he's a good player phase unit with very bad defense. So you can kind of treat a Bramimon as another Cav. I mean, it has the same characteristics, so that is kind of bad, I think. The good thing about Triandra is that she will not dance. So you know that the enemy with the opponent having Mila will always isolate Triandra because her dance assist is too dangerous. God is too dangerous. So, it's nice for me because now, thanks to Triandra not being able to dance, and this, for example, is something that I like about Yun Aerobatics. If for some reason Lilina decides to move straight to south, moving south like this, now Yun can move also free space thanks to aerobatics. That opens a lot of possibilities. So, again, about Triandra, if she is isolated, that means Veronica can use Restore and Yun can use Harsh Command. So I can use buffs everywhere on anyone without fear of someone being isolated Mia will not be isolated 
Lin will not be isolated because Triandra will be the target. But even if she is isolated, I don't mind because she has very good attack speed spread, so I can make use of it. And she will become become a uh, Yun number two, so I don't mind that. But for me, I believe Bramimon is not bad, but it's more a liability than an asset for a curve line. As explained, if your curve cannot survive the first combat, it's it could be game over. And Bramimon doesn't help survivability. Plus attack is not needed, it's useless. You need speed and defense. And here is another player who doesn't care about bonus units and use double dancer to clear evil raids. So again, that is a problem here because not using a noon time or soul but Luna Flash means that it's a one shot. So 53 imagine if I had a hell Lin would survive. I will be honest, this could be this could end up really badly for me if Yun died because Lin also died and that wasn't good for a start. So if Yun died as well, that would be terrible for me. So I think this moves proves that this person wanted to try attacking Mia with Alphonse without open the future and of course it doesn't work. So And also, by the way, if you use Triandra, I would recommend you to use, of course, something like... Yes, Wings of Mercy and please keep Speed Dress Rain. It helps her kill stuff. It, it might be... she might be able to kill eventually Mia if you use also Infantry Skull. So, um, before ending this video, I want to say, just imagine, uh, there is no structure here, okay? And I have these traps here. So, what happens is that uh, the, the opponent usually plays a tank here. Okay? And so, instead of Yun, for example, if you don't want her, you can have Hell. So... Mia goes here, or Lin goes here, and they survive. Hell goes here or here. You have Triandra here because she is a flying unit. She can now teleport here and snipe someone here, or snipe someone here. If Lin is baited, however, Again, you have Hell standing here, 
and you can have Lilina or Triandra or Yun if you still use Yun and Hell. Either one of them can teleport here or here and snipe someone. I can guarantee you if you watch my repair carefully, they always place one unit here or here or here. It's, it's guaranteed. There will be one on these spots. So you can easily snipe them. Hell allows for this nice, nasty move. If you have like like me right now free wings of mercy but all of them are ranged units you cannot do that of course you can use sophis with a steady impact but she might still die you know if they use a brave actor this is probably game over and even for example fallen ike with quick repost She's probably not fast enough, and she will die. So, um, yes. Next week in Dark Season, as explained, I will remove Bramimon and replace him with Triandra with Flyer Formation. I will explain why um, in the next video why I would do this. So anyway, thanks for watching.